is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pody and today we are in the new 2019 ford mustang bullet courtesy of bob ruth ford in dillsburg pa and so you guys probably already know since i do own the mustang gt i have been fantasizing about driving this one and reviewing it for quite a while now so therefore hence the reason we are in this today so as always you guys let's start with pricing hey right, so to start pricing for the 2019 mustang bullet we'll start at forty six thousand five hundred ninety five dollars and of course with a couple of options this one can very easily get pushed to over fifty thousand dollars if you wanted it to but when it comes to the power plant powering this beast will be the five liter naturally aspirated v8 engine found in the mustang gt but with the bullet you do have an additional 20 horsepower the additional 20 horsepower actually comes from the gt350's intake manifold ecu and an additional cold air intake as well but overall that puts the bullet at 480 horsepower available at 7,000 rpm 420 pound-feet of torque available at 4600 rpm of course power sent to the rear wheels through a six-speed manual with active rev matching that is probably one of the coolest features at least I like it because you could just simply downshift just like that i love active rev matching i don't know why i just got used to it and now i like it motor trend puts zero to 60 at approximately 4.6 seconds in this one again partly because it is a six-speed manual and of course you do have launch control and line lock and line lock meaning the one where the car essentially locks up the front brakes allows the rear wheels to spin freely warming up those tires for the drag strips that's kind of a cool feature as well but overall mpg numbers come in at 15 in the city 24 on the highway and ford recommends at least pre premium unleaded fuel. But so that before we do any kind of accelerations, there are some driving modes available via silver toggle switches just in front of the shifter there. And that's gonna include things like normal, sport plus, track, drag strip, and snow and wet. And what those driving modes will actually do is adjust things like the powertrain, the chassis, and the throttle response as well. But then actually just to the left of that driving mode button down there, there is a steering wheel and that's gonna be the steering feel. And so when I press that, that's gonna give me different steering sensitivities, including comfort normal and sport and on my personal mustang gt the steering mode that you definitely want to leave it in is the sport steering mode because it does give you a heavier weight to the steering wheel it just makes you feel more in control so that's why i'm a fan of that one and so you guys know what time it is i think it is time to do a quick little acceleration here in the 2019 bullet and nothing too crazy but let's just see how the car shifts and see how quickly this thing gets up to speed here darn it this thing is quick all right i have the mustang gt at the 10 speed you guys six speed feels almost just as fast this thing is ridiculous and with the six speed of course you have that enjoyment of rolling through your own gears and feeling more in control which i gotta say i do appreciate even being the guy that owns the 10 speed automatic i definitely do enjoy rolling through the gears in this six speed definitely no issues with finding any grab points or anything like that clutch feel is nice so i am definitely digging the six speed in the bullet here and so but then to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 15 inch ventilated front discs with brembo six piston front calipers and by the way you guys probably already noticed those six piston front calipers they are red brake calipers and they are actually specific to the bullet for comparison's sake if you look at the gt they're going to be found in a gray black combination so kind of do like the bright red calipers on the bullet they look good up there in the back 13 inch rear discs with single piston calipers and as far as the braking feel goes definitely no issues with coming to a stop and again this is a brembo brake setup with 15 inches up front that is definitely a good bit of braking power when you need it but so then touching on suspension and handling a little bit in the bullet you will find monotube shocks independent rear suspension of course and there is an optional magnaride damping system available that we of course do happen to have today and so that one is going to add 1695 dollars but i can tell you having a mustang without it it is definitely a much smoother ride noticeable smoother and what that damping system actually does is monitor each shock absorber individually adjusting the suspension settings not only giving you a smoother ride but also during heavy cornering tightening up the suspension for better handling as well so really giving you the best of both worlds and that is probably the one option I wish I would have gotten on my Mustang GT so I do appreciate that it is on this bullet here today so therefore because of that ride quality is definitely on point steering sensitivity again in that sport steering field mode is definitely very nice a heavier weight to it like i was saying as far as 
as interior cabin noise goes, there's a little bit of the ventilated seat noise I'm getting right now, and maybe a little bit of road noise, but it's really quite nice, honestly. I have no issues with cabin noise, and I do like hearing that active rev matching when you downshift. The exhaust note is definitely quite nice, and we'll get to that exhaust clip later in the video. But then, as always, touching on visibility real quick, I can see perfectly fine off the back. Do want to also say, since I'm touching on visibility, there is a blind spot monitoring system. Again, another option available that I do happen to have today on this bullet, and that's going to monitor any cars in your blind spot to the left or the right, giving you that little icon in the side mirror there so you don't go turning into anybody. So that is nice as well. But let's now check out the exterior of the 2019 Mustang Bullet. So having said that, let's start with the colors available for the Bullet. And so there are actually only two color options available for the 2019 Bullet being Dark Highland Green, which is the one, of course, you were looking at right now, and also a Shadow Black. And historically, Bullets have always been known to have that Dark Highland Green color. That is personally the color I would go with if I were to go with the Bullet. So definitely a nice look to it there. But up front, you will find a revised front grille specific to the Bullet, comparatively speaking to all the other Mustangs available right now so that's nice to the sides led headlights with led signature lighting and just below led fog lights as well then make your way to the side of this one chrome window surrounds will come standard which kind of ties together with chrome perimeter around the wheels as well and those chrome window surrounds are only available with the added pony package if you were to go with the gt so again specific to the bullet there Taking a look at the wheel setup, up front you will find 19 by 9 inches, in the back 19 by 9.5 inches, and they will come with that historic five spoke look with a black finish. And take a look at the side mirrors, there will be body colored heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals and pony projection lights as well. That's one I don't have on my GT. Pony projection lights, meaning when it's dark out, it's gonna project a pony onto the ground, illuminated with LEDs. That's gonna be kind of cool as well. Making your way to the back though, a spoiler delete will come standard on the Mustang Bullet, so nothing back there. LED sequential taillights, of course, as expected. Just below it all, dual exhaust outlets with quad tips, and actually that active valve performance exhaust system that is optional on the GT does indeed come standard on the bullet so that is pretty cool giving you modes like quiet normal sport and track quiet sometimes being referred to as the good neighbor mode and so you guys know what we have to do next i'm gonna do a little comparison actually since we do have that First, I'm going to rev it in quiet mode, and then we will rev it in sport or track mode. It's going to sound the same, either of those two. But anywho, as always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now starting around back when it comes to opening that rear trunk simply press the button on the key fob that is one option or there is a small button just above the license plate frame there that is another way you can open up that rear trunk but once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 13.5 cubic feet if that was not enough space there is a 50 50 split so meaning those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space there if you needed it make your way up to the rear legroom that is going to come in at an even 29 inches so for reference i'm an even six feet tall really don't have any space for adults back there honestly it's better left for small children or you could do car seats back there as well if you wanted to but then make your way to the front seats leather trim seating will come standard and they will come with power adjustable front seats with dark highland green accent stitching which is definitely a nice little touch tying together the exterior and the interior there and those front seats will come heated and ventilated i did want to also mention there are optional recaro leather trim seats available for around 1600 dollars but it's going to give you slightly better bolstering if you're into heavy cornering but the trade-off with that one is you will not get heated or ventilated front seats if you went with the Recaro option, at least for now. But anyways, taking a look up front, tilt and telescoping steering wheel will come standard. It will come leather wrapped, a smooth leather as well. And it will be heated too, actually. Then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your pony logo on the one side. And when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and that button to pop the rear hatch there. But of course, all bullets will come with that push button start located just in front of the shifter there. So all I am going 
going to do. Simply put my foot on the braking clutch and press that engine start button there. And so, but then what started up one of the best parts about the bullet, that 12 inch LCD digital gauge cluster will come standard on the bullet. That's definitely nice. And that can be adjusted by using the steering wheel mounting controls on the right side there, giving you plenty of different options to display up there, including that exhaust mode I just went over. But also if you press that pony button on the steering wheel, that is gonna give you the option for track apps as well, giving you things like an acceleration timer, which I've played around with quite a bit, zero to 60 times, quarter mile times, things like that. Also, you can check out brake performance. This is where you find that line lock feature. You have a lap timer if you take it to the track and there's a couple other things as well. So that's definitely pretty nice. Taking a look at overall interior quality, dual zone climate control will come standard along with aluminum foot pedals on this one as well. Ambient lighting will also come standard. I love that feature of my GT. And you can actually adjust the lighting. There's plenty of different colors you can choose from. And that actually includes the digital gauge cluster. You can adjust the colors up on that gauge cluster as well. Also quite nice. Bullet specific aluminum door sill scuff plates will come standard along with a plaque with the chassis code just above the glove box. That's probably my favorite feature. So that really individual individualizes the car, giving your car a specific number that will be not like any other bullet on the road. That is something I wish Ford did with the GT, but I definitely love that feature there. And of course, like I was saying, that dark Highland green stitching does continue onto the doors as well as just above the glove box there as well. But. Now let's check out the tech display. The SYNC 3 system will come standard on the bullet. That is going to be the 8-inch color touchscreen display, giving you Bluetooth and audio streaming standard, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. If you wanted the factory navigation, simply add $795 there. And of course, you can check out your climate control settings up there as well, and your radio settings. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, 9-speaker sound system will come standard on the bullet. However, there is a bullet electronics package that we do have today that adds $2,100 but that is going to give you a 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system and also blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert that I had mentioned. Memory settings for up to three different drivers and the factory navigation system. So quite a bit with that electronics package. But having said that, you guys know what we have to do next. I always test out the sound system here and having the 12 speaker Bang & Olufsen, I am quite excited for this one. So let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> This bass is ridiculous. A very noticeable difference between the regular 9 and 10 speaker sound system that 4 puts out. So, bang and Olsen, well done. But so the last thing on the bullet on the tech display I wanted to mention is when you do put this bullet in reverse, by the way, to put the bullet in reverse, what you're going to want to do is lift up under the shifter, push it into the upper left-hand corner. When you do that, you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also a driver's knee airbag up front as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. In addition to that, a tire pressure monitoring system will come standard along with an auto dimming rear view mirror. And again, you got that optional blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert. And so, but anyways, you guys, that is about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold. And so, but now having said that, you guys, I think you know what time it is. It is time. Why am I in fifth gear? <laughs> Why am I in fifth gear? There we go. Oh no! Where do I turn around?